Tajahal, Barry here, Best China Info. Um, I'm making this, this hopefully short video um, primarily to say thank you to all the people who have been and are supporting us still uh, since the in the few months that we've started, I think back in January, um, to say thank you for your support. And um, as regards some of the comments, uh, we, we accept some criticism and we, we receive some criticism and I'd like to address some of these criticisms with this short video. Some people have commented that, that I, I do what I do to, to make money or, or to become famous. Well, I have been doing what I do here on Billy Billy and YouTube and Twitter for quite some time. Um, pretty much all of my adult life since I was 16, since I first became aware of the geopolitical situations that exist in the world. Uh, and specifically, I lived in the UK uh, before living in America and Australia, but most of my life in the UK. And I, I was critical and have been critical of these, what I see as injustices in the world. And from a young age, 16, 17, I have been involved in music and I've been a singer and a writer of songs, a guitar player sometimes in, in bands. And I would write and have written and still do write what you might call political songs, songs that were, I say political in the sense of being critical of injustice, uh, injustices in the, the Western system as I could see it. Um, a system that was not, in my opinion, ever and has never been for the people and by the people. It is a system that is for and by the millionaires, for and by the billionaires. Um, and I have always been critical of this system. Um, a song that we use quite often as an intro and an outro on, on some of our videos um, is a song called um, Two Worlds. And uh, I wrote this song in, I guess, around 1987, after I came back from Australia. And uh, this song is quite clearly about uh, the wealth and where the wealth goes in the West, the channel of this, the wealth that is earned from the backs of the poor people, the working people, and channeled upwards to the 1%, the billionaires. Uh, the, the song that you can hear recorded is probably recorded in 1993. The lyrics of the song speak of the reason for where the money goes, the reason why we have rubbish infrastructure in the West, why, why, why people aren't looked after, and it's because we need missiles, we need bombs, we need weapons, we need armies, we need to invade other countries because they are a threat to our way of life, they are a threat to this democracy thing. and. I see these two systems, and I wrote about this back in 1987, two worlds. I see two worlds. As I look around, I see why two worlds in one can be. And this is the thing, and I, I have always done this. And I see the Western system, most of the Western systems, as being parasitic. Um, it's a system that feeds off ordinary working people like myself, like you, ordinary people. It, the system of the West feeds off this. It is a parasitic system. The Chinese system doesn't work in the same way. And, and here's the basic comparison. And now I see this song in a new light, in a way. I see, I see it as uh, there are another two worlds now, and that is the Chinese way, communism. Chinese communism with socialist characteristics, socialism with Chinese characteristics, whatever you want to call it, but it is a system that I see that works, and I compare this to the West. And the Chinese system is symbiotic. It works in conjunction and side by side with, it is mutually beneficial for and by the people. The Western system is parasitic. So you have these two worlds. One is parasitic and one is symbiotic. China's culture stems, as I see it, from an agrarian culture, growing, producing, um, 
focusing on its land and its, its, its an ag ag agricultural culture. We'll come back to this word agrarian later as an English lesson. Um, so you have people who make the most of the land they're in, the land they're on, and they, they find a way to make it work, this symbiosis, man and nature. But the West, by contrast, is outward. The Vikings, the Romans, um, the US Empire, the Anglo-Zionist Empire is outward. It is about conquest. It is about conquering other countries and taking what is not theirs. It is taking from other places, this outward, this seafaring nature. And you could say, well, uh, this is an adventurous nature. It's not. It's, it's, a, it's an, an, a nature of conquest, of dominance, of aggression. China had great seafarers. Uh, Zheng He, I believe, the name, was a, was a great captain of the sea and, and traveled to many lands. And, and his history is a rich history. I don't believe he ever tried to colonize anybody else, though. Uh, there was trade, and it was a win-win, this thing. And you can see the difference again. A difference in the way of doing things, a difference in thinking, a difference in genetics. So as I see, there are two, two basic fundamental differences. The Western system is aggressive, it's outward, it's conquest, it is pillaging. The Vikings, the Romans, the US, the UK, the British Empire. And the Chinese system is not the same. The Chinese thinking, the Chinese genetics, the Chinese basic fundamental makeup is different. Um, I did an interview recently with uh, Dot Dot News, a sissy from Dot Dot News. I've done various interviews recently, and uh, then very recently, my I have had a Twitter account for over 12 years since about 2009, in which I have always been critical of what I see as injustice committed by Western governments in the name of filling their pockets in the name of hegemony, in the name of, well, the MIC, okay? I've always been critical. My Twitter account would tell you this, but it got blocked. I criticized the UK government over a declaration they recently made, which, I, which enraged me that they could still do this, tell these lies, and I criticized them publicly, and I illustrated how they were lying yet again, and my Twitter account was wiped out. My Twitter account was suspended. I have been blocked and suspended by Twitter and other social media in the West several times. This is not the first time and it is almost always every time I criticize and, and point out that the government are lying, that the UK government are lying, that the US government are lying. And every time I do this and I, and I hold up the proof to them, I get blocked, I get suspended, I get hidden. It's not the first time. It won't be the last, I'm sure. I do have another account now, um, which is similar to our website name, so you can find me there if you want to. So, all my adult life I have been critical of a system which I see as essentially an unjust system, an unequal system, a two-world system of the 1% feeding as a parasite of the rest of the, the, the West. And this is why I live in China now, because I reached the point where I can't live in this system anymore, I disagree with it. Yeah, and that's why I live in China. If anybody asks me fundamentally why, that's why. The other criticism is I do this for the money. Well, believe it or not, there's not much money in this. <laughs> and uh, I, I have other streams of income. I'm a lecturer, I'm a teacher, I'm a writer. And, uh, and I make money from royalties, from music. Uh, some of my music is used in advertisements, is used in major movies. Um, and so I get I get royalties from this. So am I doing this for the money? No. Okay. So that's the other criticism. I'm going to try and make some videos. We we've got this this new camera thing now. We're going to try and use. And um, I'm going to try and make some daily life things. And just to prove that I am not just Isle of China, Isle of China all the time, which I am not. I'm going to try and and, and make some observational videos of life in China and and, and be critical and. and and talk about where I think maybe things could be improved and um, just to prove that it isn't, this is not just an I Love China channel, okay? I'm not trying to curry favor. I'm not trying to be famous. I'm not doing it for the money. I speak from here. And this heart, some of you know, beats with Chinese blood. It's true. Why do I do this? Okay, so there's, the, there's another question. Why do I do this? I, I, I've always spoken out against injustice. I will always speak up for, for against the aggressor. I will always speak up against 
unfairness and I can tell you with my hand on my Chinese heart that in seven years living in China I have seen a great way of life that mostly people are contented mostly people are happy they have a, an, a mechanism to speak they are heard and there there is a governing system that is by and for the people China is the beehive and that's the way I see it and that's what I feel but I will try to be critical I will try to give an, a more objective not a more I will try to give an objective opinion of some things that I see maybe China could do better maybe maybe China could um, improve but uh, trust me <laughs> China's doing pretty good and and I'm here for the duration. I hope I hope sincerely to spend the rest of my life in this wonderful country. I love China. Bo ai zhongguo.